Hello everyone, how to solve this problem for the values of x if we have x plus 1 is equals to x minus 1 and we solve this problem for all the values of x. So here first we need to find all the roots of this equation and at the last we will be verify that which of the roots are solution and which of the roots are extraneous root. Further at the end I can explain the difference between solution and extraneous root so please watch this video at the end. And here we move, uh, we solve this problem for two methods uh, so here we uh, start the solution uh, in first method so here uh, why i can solve this problem for two methods so the uh, answer of this question is that if in your exam the question statement is that you need to uh, find the roots of this equation or you need to find the values of x in that case uh, you just solve this problem from first method but if in your exam you determine the solutions out of this problem in that case uh, we just move directly towards the second method so here uh, we first solve this problem from first method so in the first method uh, we need to take scaling on both of the sides so when we apply scaling on both of the sides it will be written as x plus 1 whole square is equals to x minus 1 whole square so here we apply uh, the algebraic formula on both of the sides and you see here we have if you have a plus b whole square is equals to a square plus 2 times of a b plus b square and here in the right hand side we apply this nice formula you know about that if we have a minus b whole square is equals to a square minus 2 times of a b plus b square so here we we need these two formulas to solve the above equation and here we apply the first formula in the left hand side so after applying the first formula our left hand side is written as this is x square plus 2 times of x into 1 plus 1 square is equals to in the right hand side we apply this formula and it will be written as x square minus 2 times of x into 1 plus 1 square so here we need more simplification on both of the sides and it will be written as this is x square plus 2 times of x plus 1 square becomes here 1 and in the right hand side we have x square minus 2 x plus 1 square is equal to 1 so further in the next step we move all the terms from right hand side to the left hand side and it will be written as x square plus 2x plus 1 and this is minus x square plus 2x minus 1 and this whole equation is equals to 0. So here we need to add or subtract the like terms and this is positive x square this is negative x square are cancelled out by each other and this is plus 1 and minus 1 are also cancelled out by each other and we get here this is 2x plus 2x becomes 4x and this whole equation is equals to 0 and here our target is to find the values of x so for this we need to remove this 4 from left hand side so that we divide both of the sides by 4 so when we divide both of the sides by 4 it will be written as in this form so this 4 and this 4 are cancelled out by each other and we get here our x is equals to 0 divided by 4 and 0 divided by 4 becomes here 0. So here we get the value of x is equals to 0. So here we, here we get only one value of x that is 0 and now here further in the next step we need to verify that is this value of x be the solution or is this value of x be the extraneous root. For this we need to copy down given question statement here it is x plus 1 whole square equals uh, x plus 1 equals to x minus 1. This is the given question statement and here we substitute the value of x is equal to 0 on both of the sides. So when you put it here it will become 0 plus 1 is equals to 0 minus 1. So 0 plus 1 becomes here plus 1 and 0 minus 1 is equals to minus 1. So here you see that plus 1 is not equal to minus 1 in general or in other words we say that it is not possible case. So it is not possible that a 1 is equal to minus 1. Uh, so here uh, we uh, just say that these are not possible. So if these are not possible it means that the value of x is equal to 0 is not satisfied our given question statement. So if x equals to 0 is not satisfied given question statement we call that x equals to 0 be the extraneous root of the given equation 
So uh, if x equals to 0 be the x train is root, which means that we cannot get any value of x which is satisfied over a given question statement. So we finally conclude about that. This question has no solution. Okay, so this is the final conclusion of this problem about the solution set. And now here we again solve this problem for second method and in second method uh, we need to copy down uh, given question statement here if the given question statement is x plus 1 is equals to x minus 1 so here our second method be the very quickest method and here we quickly get the values of x and here we move this plus x into the left hand side and we move plus 1 to the right hand side and it will become x minus x is equals to this is minus 1 and this is also minus 1 so these are cancelled out by each other and we get here 0 is equals to minus 1 minus 1 becomes here minus 2 so here you see that both of the sides are not equal so if both of the sides are not equal uh, this means that we cannot get any value of x which is satisfied our given question statement so that we finally conclude about that this question has no solution in the second method okay so this is the final answer of this problem and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos